if we think about the big challenges, but then also advantages of being a mother in a sales leadership role, what do you think they are? Um, no, it's a good question, Harry. So look, women are already a minority in sales. Um, women of color are even a bigger minority. And then if you add on them being a parent, it's even a tinier percentage. So I see less people that look like me in executive meetings, board meetings, um, offsites, team meetings, and even customers are not expecting to be negotiating deals with someone like me. But I do look at this as a huge advantage, right? I believe that working parents, working moms, we're very, very efficient with our time and we're very good at qualifying out, which is obviously uh, a huge uh, uh, you know, pro as being a salesperson. So um, we do honestly need to work a bit harder sometimes to prove what we're capable of, but this usually means that we're more prepared. We, you know, we respect people's times. We know how to show value. We know how to present value. So, um, you know, my hope is that by doing panels like this, we're paying it forward to tell other women who are thinking of growing their families or debating whether to stay in sales as a working parent to stay. Right? There are many people out there to support you, find your community, find your tribe, be vocal, be transparent. Um, and frankly, if you're working with someone who you don't feel comfortable sharing that you're looking to grow your family or you're pregnant because you're worried that you know you might lose that big great territory or lose that promotion, you're probably working for the wrong person or organization. 